Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some miles. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? <laughs> What the fuck? What? Clem? Oh, Clem. Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, well, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Looking for something? Sort of. I know this looks bad, but it's not like... It's not like what? I'm just here to talk to Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. All right. Go for it. But if I lose my arm, that's on you. Ha ha, you'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I, I mean, like... Why is it... <laughs> I just don't understand. It means you're growing up, blossoming into your, you know, like, woman. <laughs> your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Hobby, that woman stuff. Worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> He's so awkward. Okay, let's find this needle and thread. I wonder what's going on with Lingard. Did he drug himself or...? Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. First aid kit. This has got to have something good Jackpot. in it, right? Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. All right, Clem, I need your help, girl. Think I remember how to do this. Well, let's hope so. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. <sighs> this stinks. Literally and figuratively. At least this is the last of them. From here on out, we have house to ourselves. Sounds nice, right? Now we just need some disinfectant. Get that smell out of there once and for all. Sounds great. Just you, me, and the goofball. Oh, that's just wonderful. Kind of shit Kenny was capable of. Carver deserved what was coming to him, of course, but that's just brutal. <laughs> I don't know how you could even watch that. It must have been brutal. And the sounds he must have made. Ugh. He did so many bad things to so many people. I wanted to see him suffer for it. Let's get out of here. Never want to look at that sick fuck's body again. Here, 
take a load off. I've got the little goofball. Hope he hasn't eaten too recently. He hasn't. Good. The last thing I need is to be covered in puke again. Don't puke on me, kid. You hear me? Oh no. It's just two of them. We can get around them. Sweep and stab. Alright, just sweep and stab. Come on. Come on, Clem. <gasps> oh, that's disgusting. Worry about AJ. Come on, Clem. You got this. Yes. Okay. That was too close. We're good. I thought she was going to put AJ down and come running. I was going to be like, no, keep AJ, girl. Come on, we can get out this way. You know, I was pretty worried about you back there. But I guess I didn't need to be. You had things handled. That's because I learned from the best. I'm glad you're okay. If only Rebecca could see you two together. You guys don't even need me. I just get in the way. You're more than capable on your own. You proved that back there. You're family. We're all family. Rebecca would feel the same way. Thanks, Clem. Go on, take him. He wants his other mom. <laughs> so cute. Thanks, Clem. We'll always have each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. Thirteen months later. I think this is just after she lost AJ to the Richmond guys. going on whoa there Clem it's just me what the hell do you want I'm really glad I found you Clementine I know this is hard I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. Tell me he's okay. Please. He's as good as he can be, which isn't great. Look, it's not much, but here. Candy bars, some water, some food. I mean, it's nice of her. 
It's not AJ though. Aww. No AJ doodles. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you. It calmed him down. This. Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. I can make it on my own, just like I always have. I don't need anybody else. I don't blame you. Just don't overestimate what you're actually capable of. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. They're out there. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know. Here. I miss Lee. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. I know you said you'd get by on your own, but if you find yourself needing supplies, or just someone to talk to. There's an old airfield, about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. Ava's a good person, I really trust her. I think she's one of the best one of the best people we've met. Especially one of the best people in Richmond. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I owe you one. Add it to the pile. <laughs> You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. Nope. <sighs> Sounds like he's up. Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotting in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. It's none of your business. This... There's no need for that tone. The heck I is wrong like with this guy? He gives a shit what you're up to. Frankly, I've had enough of backstabbing to last me a lifetime. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up, took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. 
Clem is AJ's family. No kid is better off when you break their family apart. Maybe you're right. Maybe AJ should be with Clem. All I know is that he's better than he was when he got here. Well, where is he? To you or David? That's what we want to know. By what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You. You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I. I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I, I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. This is so sad, man. Javi, I have to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. I mean, he asked us. All right, I'll do it. Well, where is he? It's his wish. He's... He's at the McCarroll Ranch. A few miles west of here. He's really alive. Thank you for not showing that. Don't forget to stick around to handle the after part. I don't want to become one of those monsters. Don't forget, Joan's looking for you and your friend. You better hope she doesn't find you. I've got it. Oh, man. Ugh. <laughs> Finally. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. <laughs> Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. I feel kind of bad about that, but that's Did what he see? wanted. We handled his last wish. I, I probably would have done it himself. I don't know. That wasn't easy. Javi, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Guys, this is Ava. Oh She's... yeah, I know who she is. She's got a hell of a punch. <laughs> nice to meet you. Good to see you, Ava. This oh, is our God. wrecking crew. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Uh -huh. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. <laughs> Good girl, Clem. Thanks. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's gotta be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? 
Can't say I approve of the way he blows off steam, though. Actually, Lingard's dead. Oh my god. He asked me to help him end it, so I helped him. I... I had no idea things had gotten that bad for him. He was done. With all this. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. <laughs> About your feminine stuff. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think, fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just because they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of <laughs> jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now, how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. If there are good people left in Richmond who are against what Joan's doing, we need to ask for their help. If we can talk to the people at the trial, present the case to everyone in Richmond, we might not have to do this on our own. We light the match, the people do the rest. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. <laughs> I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. Oh, I thought Whoa, you what? were gonna be careful out there. Hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Gabe got in the way. I didn't Don't choose to say doing. that. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after death. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's gonna be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? He's coming along. He's definitely oh, coming along. Bullshit. I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. I think he should come. I think he's a valuable dad, asset. And getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. You're out of control, Gabe. First the shit at the armory, now this. How am I supposed to trust you to do anything? How are any of us? Nobody here is going to let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you. But you thought killing him would be easier. I saved your life too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? He had a gun on him. If I hadn't killed him, he was gonna shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. 
I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. Great job, yeah, Gabe. Sure that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Or maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. Fuck off. All of you. If you don't think I fucking agonized about it, then you can all go to hell. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. This is no time to be fighting everybody. Come on, we're supposed to be working together. This is ridiculous. Have the entire world working against us and we're gonna start fighting within our group? How does that make any sense? Got a truck and a front loader there. Clem, you come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate. You guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. I see what's going on. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. You stay behind and keep watch. You proved your fucking point already, Gabe. Now it's time to grow up and help us. Hey, Gabe. Come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. <laughs> so he'll do it for Clem, but not for me. He must have a little what? crush going on. Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit uh, savage with Javi here with some of our responses. I'm just, I'm starting to get a little frustrated with. Uh, Everything that's going on. Gabe just needs to chill out, man. He's gonna get us in trouble. Locked. We can't catch a break. <sighs> Muertos would probably rip this old truck apart in seconds. What about this thing over here? Giant bulldozer could be useful. Guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. We don't need it now, though. Ah, here's the truck they're talking about. Oh. There it is. Let's go. It's armor-plated and everything. That's pretty cool. I'm guessing the keys are going to be in there. What are the chances? I'd say about 50-50. Yes! Smart ass. Is this a bank truck? I think it might be a bank truck. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. That sounds pretty risky. Ready? Ready. Ready. We didn't bring any guns with us, did we? I'm not seeing anybody with... Oh, man. Oh, 
come on now, please. Looks like we may have made it. Turns out you needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. I'm glad you were here, okay? At least you can admit it. Yeah. Well, it turns out you're pretty useful when you actually follow directions. Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Huh. Try not to shock yourself. <laughs> Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Dude, this is freaking me Just out. I do not like okay? this. The fact that those guys are in there. There's a toolbox right there. Jesus. Dude, I just jumped so hard. Oh my god. I was not ready for that. Almost there. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. I wonder how the heck we know how to hotwire a car. Javi must have been Wire into some should help with this. Some weird stuff previously. I don't know what we want here. Starter wire, battery wire, ignition wire. Got to connect the battery to the ignition. Okay. Starter wire, ignition wire. Alright, so there be light. Battery and ignition. And that's gonna attract the walkers. Let's hurry up, Javi. Don't have a lot of time. Javi, hurry up. Don't get electrocuted. Don't get electrocuted. Yes! We're good. Hop in, everybody. Oh, of course, the guys heard us. <laughs> well, those guys are going to be a bit preoccupied for at least a little time. We should have some cover. Dude, that thing is the bad. Is a couple of blocks away. To the bone. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? Well, I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <sighs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really takes you back, doesn't it? You're right. This is nice. If I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, 
In case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. <laughs> he light likes her. You get it? I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. Think their first official date will be target practice? Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Uh, young love. <laughs> it's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet. But to feel something that intensely for another person? Hey, the falling in love is the easy part. It's the staying in love part that'll really mess you up. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. Man, you did the best you could, Kate. You kept his family alive as long as you possibly could. That counts for a lot. Not much Can else you could have done in this situation. Having you there with me, right by my side, all this time. That's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. And you didn't run away. You could have. But you didn't. I think that's just you know, who I am, you know? Not who I am now, at least. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And there are always a little hot and a little confusing <laughs> and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. But before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know Whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know before things get crazy. Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? <laughs> really. <laughs> So oh man. Gonna... Okay. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. <laughs> you do you realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David? Oh right? god. I'm not looking forward to it's that. That's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I hope he can handle it. I know he's good under pressure, but this is different. Yeah. Here's hoping he doesn't completely flip out. Oh, he will. Considering we're about to save his life, maybe he'll cut us a break. Hobby, it's an execution over here. She's <gasps> hanging David in front of the whole crowd. Oh, shoot. You gotta get over here now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square. Shit. We gotta That's what all the scaffolding now. was for. Dude, no way. I'm going to hang back here with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. I will tell you as soon as we've got David. Good luck. She seems pissed. Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I'm getting a little worried about Ava. Something must have gone wrong. Something must have happened. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? 
We just have to remember. If we're going to do something risky. We've got to make sure we've protected ourselves. Exactly. We're going to get Dad back. We can't fight fair. Oh my gosh, dude. I can't believe this. Can't wait for the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle: strong council, strong community. But unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all. She's in lying to all of you. I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. Oh, he no. His brother and the rest of his people to kill our doctor. And they were happy to do it. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless, this cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. I can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. Try to keep your cool. Joan's smart, but we're smarter. We just have to be careful. We can't screw this up, Javi. Javier! I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Fuck that! And fuck you, Joan. <laughs> I don't have anything to say to someone who shit talks my family. Don't make this harder on yourself, Javier. Get up here. Now. She knows we're here now. We might as well. Dude, things have hit the fan. This is not looking good. We both know you killed Dr. Lingard. Why, Javi? Why would you do that to us? The only surgeon in a hundred mile radius, but you didn't care about that. Lingard saw what was happening in Richmond, what you were trying to do, and he didn't want any part of it. He asked me to spare him the sight of all this. You ask me, he's better off. Sorry if I don't take your word for it. Too bad you killed the only man who could back up your story. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend Eleanor last night. She was the one who alerted us to David's plot against Lingard. What? Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. She said you were coming here to rally the people against me, convince them that I was no good for Richmond. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off, considering it's all of us against the three of you. If you knew what we were coming here to do, why go ahead with this? Why put a noose around my brother's neck? This community deserves justice, and they're going to get it. One way or the other. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. Oh my gosh. Ava! Oh no. Eleanor sold us all out. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here, so I'm gonna do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Joan! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. Is this the kind of leadership you've got in store for Richmond? 
torturing people with your stupid power games? Just this isn't a game, Javi. It's about time you learn that. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? <gasps> Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? How are all the people out here okay with this? Or your brother's lieutenant. We actually have to make a decision here. Oh, come on! This is fucking stupid. You can't be serious. God damn you, Joe. I trust Ava over Trip. I'm sorry. Let Ava live. She's always been loyal. Hobby! No! Well, there's a hobby I know. Backstabbing, double-crossing, no good, dirty fucking murder. Such language. <laughs> but I admire the sacrifice you're making here, Hobby. Shoot her. Wait! I said don't shoot Ava. You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. Oh Joe, my god, dude. Ava's one of us. No. Can't fucking do this. This is fucked. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. No. You can't. Oh my god. Damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. If we're gonna make a move, we gotta make a move now. I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Think about this, Hobby. You know what's gonna happen here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody put your guns away. We're gonna handle this peacefully. But we've got the truck. Don't Little do they know. Bobby. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch. Take her out. She deserves it. If you don't do it, I fucking will. We're leaving. All of us. We don't need a crazy riot and fight. Right now. Doesn't matter if you did. This is how it needs to happen. Oh jeez, he's gonna make it happen anyway. What are you? I don't believe any of you. Take your deal and shove it. They're liars, Clint. All of them. One step closer and I kill him. I swear I will. Go ahead and shoot then. I warned you. David, please, put the fucking gun down. I'm sorry, little brother. She's not gonna win. I can't let her. <laughs> Of course, Gabe's gonna step in. Oh my god, they're just murdering people. Oh my god! Alright, well it's on. Let's do this thing. Now Trip doesn't trust us, that's for sure. Fucking hag! Get back here! Okay, I need you to cover me. We gotta make things right. Okay. Just got another man's blood all over his face. We Jesus. gotta need this. We gotta get out there. This is awful. He needs you. Not me. Go on. Thanks. He's old enough now, he can do his own thing, make his own decisions. Got him. 
Go for those heart shots every time. Gotta protect Clem. Wow, Trip's still, still protecting us. I knew David was gonna do something to fuck this up. I told you what he was like. When are you gonna start believing me? Shit, get down! I hear gunfire. What the hell is going on over there? Are you guys okay? Stay away from the square. It's too risky. We'll come to you. I, I can't hear you. It's too loud. Got tear gas. Oh man, <laughs> smoking us out. Trip, we need you right now, bud. Even though I chose to let you die. <laughs> I think we made the right decision there. I wish that Ava wouldn't have died, but I I trust Ava over Trip for sure. <gasps> no way. Maltov? Oh god. <gasps> Kate! Oh, it's god. leaking gas. You've gotta get over there before. Oh my god. Kate! Oh my god. Oh my god, the walkers are coming in. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's no way that's where this ends. I think that's where they're going to end it. Oh my gosh, dude. There is no way. Is that it? I got early access to this. So there aren't going to be any percentages on who made what decisions. We aren't going to be able to see that. Oh my god, dude. I mean, that's a big armored truck. I've got a feeling she's still alive. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that she's still alive. Oh, I was hoping there was gonna be like a next time on The Walking Dead that would like give us a, a hint as to whether or not she's gonna be coming back. But uh, wow, that was pretty insane. So right now, Joan is on the run. We're kind of hunting her down. Gabe and David are. Kate may be dead. Ava's dead. Trip's not gonna trust us. The other girl, the one that Trip's in love with, turned her back on us and decided to join Richmond rather than helping us out. She actually sold us out. Oh, I seriously don't think things could be in a worse place right now. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. And uh, that should be out sometime, probably in the next month or so. So when that drops, we'll be sure to play it. And I'll catch you guys later.